guys, what's up? Okay. I'm back here. Um, I was sitting there thinking, and I am a huge advocate of secondhand gear. Um, you know, if you can afford to go out and buy retail gear, do it. You know what? It's going to last you. It's, uh, it's good. But I, about five years ago, I told myself, I said, if I can keep from it, um, you know, I, I don't want to buy anything uh, uh, retail anymore. I'm going to go secondhand. You know, I find uh, if I, I find a lot of good, really good deals. Matter of fact, you can see I got this North Face uh, little fleece on that's super warm, and uh, I got it on I got it on clearance, and uh, I got it for under half of what it what it costs new. Um, sometimes you got to wait, you know, but you don't always have to wait and find things on a, on a good deal. You just got to be persistent and consistent. Um, on finding gear, you know, hit your thrift stores up, go to your flea markets, go to your Goodwills, go to these different places. It's like, uh, like this, um, fair seam rod that we use today. I use it in a lot of the advertising. Um, a, my, a good, really close friend bought it for me at a gun show. Um, I think he gave like 15 bucks for it. It's, it's awesome to look at. It, you know, it's a it's a pretty fair seam rod. So, uh, you know what? Don't give up. Listen, guys, uh, go after common man materials. Again, check your Goodwills. Check your thrift stores. Check your flea markets. Go to your yard sales. The more you're consistent, you're going to find gear. Um, we're going to be doing some videos on gear that I personally have found second hand. Uh, when I say second hand, some of the stuff that I've got probably went through probably 10 or 15, 20 hands. But um, it's good gear. You just got to teach yourself and train yourself to know where to look, where to shop, uh, and get in, and, and, and study your brand. Study, study, study the gear that sells for retail on the internet. Um, so you know what to look for when you go into these places. Um, again, hone your skills. If you hone your skills, you're going to own your skills. If you own your skills, then you're going to go out in the woods in any environment, and you're going to be comfortable with getting a fire going. Um, these are just little quick tips and tricks for you guys. We're learning together. We're going to pass on the tribal knowledge to one another, and um, we're going to all further our skills in survivability and wilderness sustainability. So, uh, you know what? Thanks for dropping by. Leave a comment at the bottom of the page. Subscribe to us. Check out our Facebook. Um, check out our website. Check out our product reviews. And, uh, you know, if you got a good idea, leave it. We'll try it. We'll shoot a video about it. So, uh, again, we appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. Take it easy, and uh, hope to see you next time. Peace.